Hello, welcome back again to NX Progress If Die tutorial. So in this session, I would like to show you how to insert uh, bending tools. For example, in here I have a V bend. NX automatically will create the, the bending tools based on the geometry. In this case, the V bend, and also create on the punch side <coughs> and also on the die side. Okay, we have a some kind of type in here a bending type so it will adjust based on your input both uh, the die and the pu both the punch and the die also like this one in pair okay okay let's get started I click open bending insert so I already save into different folder uh, to insert the bending. I open Project Control. So make sure you always open the Project Control in order to open the NX uh, Progressive Die project. Now in here we have bending in the side. Okay, uh, to make it easier to s to see, I want to hide the piercing and the emboss components okay now in here I want to add V-Band this is bending insert design you can see here there are 90 degree band, angle bending, Z bending, V bending, and universal Z bending. Now, I will use standard insert using V bending on the punch side. So, select band start face. The start face, you must remember the start face. So, this is the start face not this one and then you click standard insert okay this is the highlight of the punch itself and next will automatically adjust based on the the contour of this uh, v-band so i just click ok Now you can see in here, it automatically adjusts based on the uh, curvature in here, and also the width in here. Okay, the width also same with the product. So if I agree, I just click apply. Then I will insert also this V band in here. Select band start face. Click this face. Standard insert. I click OK. If I agree with the shape, I click OK. Now I want to create on the on the, on the die side for this uh, V band using same tool standard insert band start face, but on the die side. Okay. Click on the start face. This is the start face of the V band. Okay, this is the result. If you agree, then you can click apply. Next. Then click OK. So this is the V band. This is the V band. Now I want to create also angle band in here. Go back again into this standard insert. Angle band. Go on the punch side. Select 
the start phase this is the start phase click apply and next will automatically uh, choose the appropriate one based on the shape and this geometry okay see this click apply and then I also do the same thing for the for this side okay now I want to create the die for this die create the start face we go to standard part click OK now you see NX automatically adjust based on the geometry itself if you agree click apply and then also for the side if you need to to edit the uh, dimension you can go into this to this uh, section based on the detail based on the which one is a which one is l which one is y you can edit all the parameters in here to adjust the the size of this uh, components okay so this is the V band and this is the angle band. Now I will go to to the Z band in here. The process is same. Now I just select Z bending, go to the pan side, uh, select band start face. This is the start face. Okay. okay click apply okay now in here you can see that in this part the width is good but in here I think it's too small so I need to adjust a little bit so I just click this one standard bend click okay select standard part click this one so this is the way how to edit the geometry in here we can see this parameters is controlling the size we find a w1 is 4 maybe we can add to 6 to see the difference now you can see in here right it added click ok so if you want to add or you want to modify you can go to this and to modify you just click this part click I mean th that icon and then you create you click the standard part okay something like that this is how to edit okay for the next step I also want to create a similar shape but I sh I can use this kind of a uh, step but I also you can I also can uh, create the copy of this part for example I can use this part yes it's called the position the position using a dynamic specify orientation I create copy okay intermediate copy is only one Okay, using this uh, dynamic, I can create some kind of reference. For example, the reference of the copy is from this side. Here, from this. Uh, 
Okay, uncheck again. Let's let's try. Okay, but unfortunately, uh, the bending between here and here is not same. So maybe I will make a small adjustment. Still not okay. So if this happens, you just only click the cancel. So it will it will uh, cancel the 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 command. Now what I need to do maybe I can use this center. Move handles only. Okay, create copy. Center of this bending. Okay, go again. Move copy, and then I click center of this bending. Now, the result is good. Position is same also. So I think this is good. Total number of copy one. So I click OK. Now I get a same punch in here for the Z band. Now I want to create the dice using Z bending on the die side, select standard part. Okay, check this. Okay, click OK. but I'm not yet click the start face I should click the start face first before I go into this side I click OK so what is the result is the result good or not okay this is the result now in here it's quite good but in here is very very narrow so maybe I want to add a little bit dimension the ge I mean the geometry in here so I will go back again to bending insert design click the standard insert using select standard part click this so what we need to add now is this WD WD maybe we can add to 7 let's see how it change Ah, this is a lot better. Okay, I just click OK. In the same way, I also can add this part into this place. Same procedure. Click. Okay, select standard part. The position. Okay, create copy. I'm copy was one. Move handles only to specify the reference point. Maybe I can use this uh, center. This center on this. Okay, now I will drag this. Now, as you can see. When I stop drag and then I redrag again, it create a copy. It's okay, no problem, because we can delete the copy using the same tool. Bending insert design, delete. Select insert to delete, click this, and then you click OK. So the the key point in here is please do not select this and then you go to delete this is not a good way the good way is in the bending insert design you click delete and then you select this part and then you click ok to delete this uh, punch for example and also the same for the other in, in the forming also you, you can uh, delete the forming but you must use the delete tools on the appropriate way so for example if I want to delete the uh, the forming 
I can use the delete tool uh, to delete everything for example the piercing also I can delete using the delete command okay now let's continue again uh, for this bending it's called 90 degree bending I go to the pan side select start face this is the illustration click OK okay this is if I agree I can click OK I can click apply I can click apply and then I go to the next stage next uh, 90 degree bending click OK this is the result apply now I will going move to the die side select the start face let's see this is gonna be like this this is gonna be like this the layout the sketch okay I think it's good I accept next click OK okay now you see there are some intersection in here and here uh, in order to make this uh, one part you can go to assembly with geometry linker you link all this part and then you unite both of this so this is the trick how to to merge both of this okay I think all the bending feature already complete okay so that's it uh, see you on the next video the next video will be insert the pilot the piercing tool and also the lifter and the guide lifter design okay see you on the next video thank you very much for watching